if you use Google Forms. You might feel like you'd like to look at the last entries before you look at the first entries, right? So people are kids, whoever is filling out the Google Form, and they submit, and it's a form that you use over and over again. And so when you open up the spreadsheet and you go look at the responses, you're looking at responses that you have already said. So I had a request that they want to hide rows they've already seen and then sort them in reverse. So I've actually created some code to do that. Don't let this freak you out because you don't need to do any of this. All you're going to do is take this code, control, you're going to select all, select all of the code. Don't You don't have to read it. You don't have to look at it. Now I'm going to go ahead and do forms.new. I'm going to create a new Google form. So we're looking at a form you already have. So you make the form. I'm just going to go through the steps to kind of get this started. You make the form. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to go to the responses tab. And this is the magic sauce. This code is not for the form, but rather for the spreadsheet. So you're going to go to the spreadsheet, create a new spreadsheet. So you're looking at the spreadsheet for this Google form. So you have a Google form, you have the spreadsheet for the Google form. This is where you're going to take this sample of code. So here I am in the spreadsheet and you're going to go to the tools menu and choose script editor. So under the tools menu is script editor where you can add code and then all you have to do is paste this code. Now there is a default function here. It says function, my function, choice one, just delete the darn thing. You don't need it. It's just there as a placeholder and you don't want to accidentally mix in with it. So you can delete it, but if you don't delete it, just make sure, let me control Z this, that you paste below it. And so you see it says my function has the starting and ending curly braces, and then I just have the code that I have pasted. You can call this anything up here that you want. It really doesn't matter. And save it. Now I'm going to come over to the back to the spreadsheet, and I'm going to go ahead and refresh my spreadsheet. Oops, I thought I saved it. Didn't save yet. Make sure this, okay, there it is, it's saved. Okay, now I'm gonna refresh my spreadsheet. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. There we go, it's gonna say hide rows right up here. So I have an option to hide rows and sort backwards. So if you just copy paste the code in there, you don't need to read it, you don't need to look at it, you don't need to do anything, just save it, then refresh your spreadsheet, that menu is going to come up and it's going to stay in that spreadsheet. That code is now like stapled into that spreadsheet. It'll be there all the time. So let's go ahead and go over to the Google form. And I am going to change this not from multiple choice, but to a short answer just so I can type something and we're going to preview it. And I'm just going to put an answer. Alice with an A, I'm going to submit another response, Barton with a B, submit another response, Carrie with a C, these are all people in my family, Don is my uncle, uh, do I have any E family members, I don't, I'm just going to put E, um, I don't have any F ones, I'm sure I do, I don't have any fake ones. All right, whatever. I've, I've submitted this Google form several times, so you can see in here that the time stamp is starting with 10.17 and 4 seconds and ends at 10.17 and 29 seconds. And as you continue to submit this, it's going to get off of the list. I guess I should have put H on that. H, I... Okay, right, and so eventually I'm not going to be able to see these responses that it's going to be so far down the list. So you're just going to come over here to the hide rows and you're going to choose sort backwards. And so if you just do that, it's going to sort it. Now the very first time, you're going to have to authorize your code. This is true all of the time with anything I've coded. It might say back to safety. It's just letting you know that no one at Google has reviewed my code. Um, obviously, since you just copy and pasted it, nobody looked at your code. You're actually only authorizing yourself. It is completely safe. So there might be a little link that says advanced. You want to click on that. It expands out some text. Underneath that, it says unsafe. 
because they just don't want to get sued over there at Google that you installed code that was unsafe. Uh, but it is safe, so go ahead and click on that and authorize it. Okay, and nothing seems to have happened because when you authorize the code, when you go to run the thing, it says, wait, this isn't authorized. It has to be authorized before I can run it. So since it wasn't authorized, it authorized, so now I can run it. So I'm going to do it again. So go back up here to hide rows, and I'm going to sort backwards, and you're going to see that the J is now at the top, and the Alice is at the bottom, so it just reverses the direction, um, so that's really nice. And then when you're done, you're like, I've looked at all of these. Just go to hide rows, and it's going to hide all of those rows so that when I make a new form, let's submit a new one. Submit. It's going to show up there. I can read it. I can keep reading the responses that are submitted. If I want, if it would be helpful, I can sort it backwards. So I read the new ones first, and when I am done, I'll just hide those rows also.